Okay, here we go. I'm going to quickly show you how to uh, import AVCHD files into a standard Premiere Pro CS6 project. I just made a temp folder inside a wedding, Sarah Benton's wedding. We're just going to call this temp or testing. Let's call it testing. We're going to pick AVCHD. It's a preset in Premiere. 1080p 24 you can set it to whatever you want we'll just call it sequence one just so I can show you here's how simple it is to import AVCHD files so let me grab a fold the folder with the files oh this isn't it hold on okay how I arrange it is I have my cameras I make folders for my cameras this is my camera and Sheena's camera there's two of us shooting the wedding so camera one I import the AVCHD folder or the or the private folder works either way. AVCHD folder or the private. Let's see. Hers has just the AVCHD folder. It'll work with the private folder too. So if I go here, let's pick another one. Let's pick GH21 private. So you can import the private folder. Let's go back cuz this is a long wedding. I want to show you how a long one works. Uh, Sarah Benton footage mic one I what I do is I label the cameras the way I want them so that I can put them I label the camera my mic one that's my camera camera one AVCHD folder now if I choose properties I'll see how big this folder is it's 12.4 gigs okay now let's say I wanted both of these folders, my camera one and my camera two. We're just going to pick one because that one has a ceremony and the ceremony is over an hour long. So I'm going to show you. Mic one. All right. I take the folder, drag it into Premiere. Now it imports the files. Drag, I drag it right into the bin and it automatically puts a folder called mic1 so there's my GH1 watch my GH2 folder mic1 it comes up with this error but this is the TBD files and the, all the extra files that aren't video files this is format and that's supported just click OK now under this bin when I click this drop down it just shows me the videos that's how easy it is it just shows me the videos when I go up here and look let's see I can change it to let's let's look at it like like this drag this up here so I can see this is all the clips of him getting ready we'll get to the ceremony here's the church there's their first look okay here's the ceremony Actually, this one here, I think I turned my camera off. Let's go to Sheena's. Sheena's, I don't think Sheena turned hers off. Or I'll find one that did. So let's let's go back and I'll drag one and find one that where the camera was was stayed on the whole time. So let's go back to one that's like an hour long. It automatically stitches your files back together if they're long. So we'll go Adora's. Footage. Mike, see there's a private folder from mine, All right? Drag it over here. There it is. It's importing the files, and this one will just this will just import the actual thing instead of being labeled Mike One. It's giving me the thing I'll. Okay. Now it's done importing. Here's the end. It's importing the files. It'll come up with the same error. But here's the private folder. Double click it. I can just drag the bin up to the top here. Here's the private folder for her wedding. And it automatically just brings in all the clips under that folder name. So there's the, the project's testing. We can look at it like this. 
Then at the bin mic one, here's that first wedding. All the clips are here. Bin private, this is that other this is that other wedding. So if I go down to this ceremony. you'll see one large file okay here it is see this file here it's 36 minutes here's one file that's 36 minutes all I have to do is drag this one file down to the timeline. It actually spanned the clips. Put them together. They're 36 minutes long as one single file. It's actually two files, but it puts them back together. See? It's two files, but the, it spans them back together so they appear as one file in here. That's it. That's how, that's how hard it is to import AVCHD files pretty simple and you can scrub them they work just fine you just hit spacebar and play them there's the AVCHD files they work just like any other H.264 files